so dead. Hey, 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 we're on our way. It's um early hours of the morning. That's funny. The sun's beginning to come up. And uh I was yeah. expecting you to say fat it's fat Albert because you're like hey hey hey. You idiots. <laughs> anyway. So tell everyone tell everyone where we're going. We are on our way to I think it's called Bald Hill. And we are going to be doing some multi-rider racing. Which it's is exciting. It's actually a um a test of uh, an outdoor track that the Melbourne multi rider race club incorporated yes incorporated has uh, organized as a first official trial outdoor event so um and we're got, very lucky it was just raining last night yeah it was pouring actually massive hail i might put a picture in the video of what the hail looked like and look at it better pretty pretty you've got the video haven't you i got 240 frames per second goodness yes yeah, so that was pretty pretty harsh i thought i was going to dip the car but i had a look this morning the car's pretty dirty but i can't see any dents in it so touch mm. wood hopefully um we haven't done any damage to the car but yeah look it's all good to go and we should be there hopefully in another 45 minutes or so yeah look how empty the road is <sighs> we've got six quads in total with us one of which I won't be flying, um, but we won't get into that. Uh, so essentially, Thomas is going to be flying. You're flying a um, 150, and I'm also flying a 150, and that is the Blade 150. Uh, we're also both flying minions. Thomas has decided to part with one of his minions and he's given it to me. So I'm flying one of his minions, and you're flying one of your minions. That'll be for the 3S race. Um, and for the open class, you're flying a Nevada, a 4S Nevada, is that correct? Yes. So, be awesome. how do you feel about your, um, this will be kind of your first official sort of practice race. How do you feel about that? Um, I'm pretty excited because, well, it's all new to me. It's going to be fun. So, are you going to win and absolutely blitz everything? You don't know, do you? <laughs> well, no, not, I don't really know. I mean, I'm, I'm going to pray. Do you know what I think it's actually like? I honestly think it's very much like um, Taekwondo. It's a combination of having the skills, which I think you have got the skills, and they're developing along really nicely. Um, but I think it actually goes beyond that. And I think our uh, middle Danny actually mentioned that in one of the videos that luck does play a, um, a big part of it. You don't want to be caught up in a crash, and it doesn't take much. Sorry about that. I had a car right next to me, and the lane was going to change from two to one. Anyway, so yeah, so I think it requires a bit of luck there too on your, um, for have, to have things go your way, because it doesn't take much for someone to take you out, does it? No. So, um, you found that out with the um, car park racing too, didn't you? Well, yeah, there's this one corner. Yeah. Where we would always be right next to each other, because, well, I didn't have the top end speed generally, because I don't, I don't like, you know. Well, you were running a 3S, you were running a 3S quad, so yeah. the guy could actually gun you down, and that's what the problem was, mm -hmm. wasn't it? But then in the turns, we were pretty even. So, I kind of pull away a little bit in the turns, but then you catch up again, I pull away again. And then there's one turn where you have to slow down, and, well, you look at pretty much every crash I, that we had there, it was all in the same spot, every so, time. So, Dad, what is your game plan? Look, I've been one of those really what you call it really I've, I've been really consistent in racing i haven't done much racing but I've, I've been really consistent i'm probably one of the most consistent pilots out there when it comes to racing i consistently crash <laughs> <laughs> and the worst part about it is i can't say that um i've crashed because of uh someone else has taken me out it's usually all the g-forces it's like my thumbs don't want to move and um i usually crash out at the stupidest places and Thomas is like why did you hit that wall or why couldn't you go through there and I don't know how it is that I do it but hopefully this time I can you know get my act together and um, not crash actually speaking of which how do you handle having people in front of you and the distraction of that me well pretty much I just do a lot of following with you so I'm kind of a little bit more used to having people in front of me and I just kind of <sighs> That My makes sense. Mm. So you've, you've had me in your sh in your screen so often, haven't you, really? So you're used to seeing a quad in front of you. Well, yeah, and pretty much I kind of try to match velocities with them until I know I can comfortably overtake, and then usually I avoid a crash, or in some cases, choose to overtake someone in the middle of a gate, because logic, 
and yeah, that usually doesn't end well. Well, I know, um, if I remember correctly, Jazz was really good at overtaking through the gate, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> he actually took you out in one of them. Yes, he did. Hopefully we get to fly with him soon again, so, um, and Chad too. Uh, final glide that is so yeah so hopefully we get the fly with them soon i think they're going to be coming down here or well, justin's already here anyway but um chad might be coming down 500 meters turn left onto the ramp uh, that's my iphone we're going to be turning left onto the ramp anyway we'll leave the video at that and we'll catch you guys in the next part or something along those lines i'm not sure what we're doing i think we're vlogging aren't we i guess we are okay this is a vlog we didn't do vlogs. Turn left We're not good at this. Okay, kill it. This is nothing. See ya.